Usman Garuba has signed a two-way contract with the Golden State Warriors. He just averaged eight points and four rebounds per game for Spain in the FIBA World Cup. After getting waived by the Oklahoma City Thunder, he stated in an interview, I'll prove everyone wrong, mark my words, and it seems like he will get that chance with the Warriors. Let's see what he brings to the table for them in this video, because personally, I believe this is a great, worthwhile signing, considering it's a low-risk, high-reward type of situation, while bringing in much-needed youth with some potential in athleticism on an older, aging Warriors roster. He will also provide much needed front court depth for the Warriors, which they lacked last season. Adding insurance behind Draymond and Looney was badly needed, and he could potentially eat up regular season minutes while not dropping off too much in terms of play for them to keep them fresh during a long season and potentially a playoff run. And the one reason he might actually get a chance at some point during the regular season is the one NBA skill he truly does have is what the Warriors love from their big men and overall every player, aka in his limited minutes with the Rockets, he showcased that he can be a special, versatile, elite, high motor defender who hustles nonstop. He's 6'8 with a 7'3 wingspan, but he has the ability to guard the perimeter, which is great in a Steve Kerr defensive system. First off, he has the balls to pick up Luka above the three-point line. That should be applauded right away. Luka takes that as disrespect, so he takes him off the dribble. He can't beat him, though, because of the foot speed of Usman. Luka tries to foul bait, but it doesn't work great defense now he switched on to a guard spencer dinwiddie he cuts off his initial drive bites on the pump fake but his defensive instincts takes over and he recovers with his 7-3 wingspan to deny him maybe a reason the warriors are giving him a shot is because they were impressed by his defensive performance against them last season steph gets him one-on-one -on -one. curry versus garuba on the perimeter he stays in front and curry stumbles probably because he's like how the heck is this dude staying in front normally i just blow by big man on the perimeter then he switches on to wiggins keeps him in front and forces a pass what a defensive showcase on that play his motor is just relentless and he hustles non-stop take this play for example rockets miss so he just casually presses steph curry full court and eventually forces him to pass then he stays with him off ball switches off him perfectly and ends up with the steal i mean come on now this is some great defense and he really does fit into the mold of what the Warriors want out of their bigs, especially defensively, since the Warriors love switching and overall versatility on that end of the floor, along with their bigs accepting their job of doing the little things and not doing too much, like rebounding and just hustling. He should be loved by the coaching staff and veterans right away because he will bring that immediately and he will do the little things very, very happily. One problem that he definitely needs to clean up immediately that is holding him back from getting real NBA minutes is his fouling issue. He's over aggressive defensively. He only averaged 12 minutes per game over two seasons with the Rockets. His per 36 stats, though, were pretty impressive. 8.4 points a game, 11 rebounds per game, one block and one steal. But of course, as I was saying, the foul issue is real. Five fouls per 36 for Garuba. He needs to address this issue. Offensively, he's low-key got potential as a passer. His highlights from Eurobasket a year ago showcased this. In the short roll, he notices the perimeter defender helping, so he fakes a floater by jumping in the air just to whip a pass that led to an open three-pointer. He can make reads like this consistently, and considering the Warriors like their bigs to have high IQ skills like this, they may fall in love. And overall, his passing at that position is definitely one area that can grow and ultimately provide major value at the NBA level. Other than that, he does typical big man things, but he excels on the boards with his relentless motor. Over his career, he's averaging 4.2 offensive rebounds per game per 36. Also, despite his weird form, he's not afraid to attempt three-pointers. He made 24 out of 59 threes last season in his limited run, which is 40.7% from three, 
So low-key, there is some potential for him on the offensive end of the floor. From SBNation.com, in his Rockets player recap from last season, it states the high-end future for Garuba seems to be a defensive stopper, top 20% rebounder with three-point range, and ability to initiate offense off a surprisingly good passing game and handle. Probably the best role is that of a bench destroyer but we will see. In my opinion, this is a very good low risk, high reward type of two way signing, and he brings much needed youth and athleticism to an older Warriors roster, like I said earlier. But that's really all I got, and that's what he brings to the table for the Warriors. Hopefully, he succeeds because it seems like he loves the game of basketball, and I always respect that. So leave a like on the video, it helps out a ton. Let me know your thoughts below. Have yourself a great day, and peace out.